Hey everybody, Joy here. We're going to do a little tutorial on the Claire today. Today is Tuesday, February 12th, 2019. And so many of you have asked me to show you how to make the Clara leggings. Here's the pattern. Mine is a PDF pattern. It's from Jaylee. You can get a real paper pattern, but it's going to take you several weeks to get it. When I want to make something, I want to make it now. <laughs> so I like these PDF patterns. So I've been making this for, I don't know, a month or more now. And I've made it several times. And so I'm going to try to explain it so you guys can understand it. It's a fun and easy pattern. I'm wearing it. I've got my plantar fasciitis socks on, so ignore those. But these are the red ones I made. <clears throat> they are the, I don't know, fourth pair I think I've made of them. So, this is what it looks like, the pattern, printed out with the PDF format. She's got shorts, and she's got the capri length and the long length. I like long length patterns, so I don't care for capris on me. That's just me. So, let me tell you something very, 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 very important. Step one. <laughs> if you get the PDF, if you get the paper pattern, put the guide someplace where you cannot miss it. You see this guide right down here? That guide shows you how far a certain length of fabric has to stretch. And in the case of this pattern, it has to stretch 60%. 60%. So, this is what I'm fixing to cut it out of. So what you do is you put your little gauge down. You take just as much fabric as it shows you, which is about two inches. And you hold it really, really tight at the beginning of the, I'm calling it a gauge. Um, I'm not sure what to call it, a little ruler, guide. Hold it really tight at the beginning. Grab it at the end of the red part and then see if that much fabric stretches to the end. And this one does, it stretches past it. Now I have cut this out of fabric that I just took and I thought, oh, this is stretchy enough. And I cut it out. I could barely get the thing on and the stitches ripped and ripped and ripped as I was pulling it up my leg. So I want to keep this 30 minutes. So I'll be back in a minute and show you the actual pattern and the way you cut it out. Okay. I've moved the camera a little bit to try to avoid the light from the window, so I hope you can see pretty well. So there's only three pieces to this Clara legging pattern. This piece right here is the only pattern piece there is for the bottom and the legs. This is it, the only pattern piece. There's not a front, there's not a back. This is the front, the back, and both legs all the way around. There's this little piece right here. This is the gusset. Oh, look, it can show on the black TV. This is the gusset piece. It is a little tricky to put in, but I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm surprised Jaylee hasn't done a video on this clear pan. I tried to find one and couldn't find it. And this is the waistband. Now, this pattern can be made all the way up to your waist without the band, or it can be cut down and the band put on it. I like it with the band. So, the band, you see my great big letters cut too? That's because every time I cut it out, I was missing one. So this end goes on the fold. You cut one on the fold, and then you cut another one on the fold, okay? So, this piece here, this piece here, this is the center front right here. This is the center front. This is the center back. See the crotch? This is the center back. This is the center front. This piece right here goes on the 
fold of the fabric. This is a brilliant pattern, you guys. You, the first time you make it, you think, oh, that can't work, that can't work. It works. This little piece from here to here, the whole thing doesn't go on the fold. Just this little bit from here to here goes on the fold, okay? So you place it on the fold. You cut one out, not two, one. You cut one of those on the fold. You cut two of these on the fold. I'm gonna cut one down here and one up there. And then you cut one of these. So simple. Remember, let me turn the camera a little bit. Remember not to have your fabric hanging down off the end of the table. That will give you all kinds of problems in the part that you cut out because you'll have it stretching. You do not want it to stretch. Say hello to Rose. That's my chicken pincushion I made and quilted. Isn't she cute? I love redheads, you know. So, put the extra fabric up on the table so you don't have any overhang. And I'll cut the pieces out and then I'll show you how to put them together. I'll be back. Okay, it's only been about 10 minutes. And if I hadn't had to walk back and forth to get weights and stuff, I could have cut this out in five minutes. You know, I love these little washer weights. This is what they look like before they're wrapped in um, gross grain, gross grain, grow grain, grow grain ribbon. See, here's the same thing that's been wrapped. Can you see it down there better? Here it is, you buy it from the store. And these come from Ace Hardware. Lowe's does not have them. And this is it after you wrap it. Okay, washer duty. Okay, let me show you the pieces now that they're cut out. One gusset. One gusset. Another thing that you need to know about knit that's kind of frustrating is it may or may not have a right and a wrong side. And if you can't tell it has a right and a wrong side, it probably doesn't matter which side you choose. But they are a little bit different usually. So whichever side you choose, take a piece of chalk and put an X on what you're calling the wrong side. So at least the same side will show up on everything, okay? So I have the waistband, one piece, two pieces, okay? Cut two on the fold, on the fold. Open it up, it's this big, okay? Then you cut this one pant pattern that looks really, really crazy. Actually, I didn't finish cutting it yet. And I'm doing it Viv Mom way, yes! My other table is covered with birthday wrapping paper and leftovers from what I made those pajamas. <laughs> There's pattern paper everywhere. So I thought, hey, this is the way I used to do it back in the day when my husband ran off to be a drug addict and I had a little girl to raise all by myself. Here this is opened up. I told you it looks like chaps. See? I've got chalk X's on that side, so that's the wrong side. And this is the right side. All right? So this is that little place I told you right here that you're going to cut on the fold. This, this right here is where this gusset goes. Right here. This is the front of the pant, and that gusset goes right there. Okay? Let me do it with the white pattern piece. Right here is where that gusset goes. Okay, I need to hold her upper besides my chin. Where does the rest of the gusset go? Back here. This is the back crotch right here. And the other side of the gusset sews, oh, I wish I could show it to you better guys. The other side of the gusset sews right here. Right up in here like this. You sew it to one side, and then you turn it and you sew it to the other side, and then you sew the whole back up. So this gusset goes, God, this is hard to show, guys. 
This gusset goes right here on the back. Okay? So it sews to the back and the front. Okay? So, which, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the gusset in first. I think. You can always read the directions. <laughs> And then I'll come back and show it to you sewn in, okay? <laughs> okay, let's do close-up duty. I just sewed. This is where the gusset's going to go. And I just sewed all around here. It's in the instructions. One quarter inch, close together, straight seam. I sewed all around this curve because I'm going to clip it up to the stitching because you're sewing the round end of that gusset into here but I think I'm going to sew it to the back first I'll look at the directions and see if you sew it to the back first or the front first can you see? hello okay you sew the pointy end to the back crotch first. So, let me find my X's and see what the right side is. There's my X's, which you probably can't see. Maybe you can. So this is the right side. So we're going to come way over here to the back crotch. And we're going to put right sides together and sew this piece right here. Right here. Here's the gusset, and there's the back crotch. Can you see? See, here's the double notch for the back seam. Stay up there. Let me pin it. <laughs> okay, so that's where it goes, to the back crotch with the point pointing up towards your waist. Here's the first side sewn on. See? This little pointy piece here goes up in that round part that you saw me clip. That's where this piece goes. Okay, so now I've got to bring the other back around, right sides together, bring the back around, match up those two center notches right there, so you know you got the right two pieces together, and then you match up the other side of this gusset to the other side of the back crotch. See? It's not hard. The whole hardest part of this garment is this right here, this point. When you sew the back pieces to each other, it ends up funny down here where this point is. It's definitely an Audi. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. <laughs> Every time I make this pant, I fiddle with this area right here. So I'm fixing to rip it out a little bit because this part should not be sewn down. So I'll just try again. I, I unstuck it, so now I have a hole here where the point is. <laughs> so now I can see how it's supposed to be sewn because part of the way you're sewing the two backs together but then you stop and you come together at this point. So my suggestion is, and I think it's the secret, is when you sew this point on, mark your quarter inch on each side and find the quarter inch point and only sew to that dot. I think that's the solution. Okay, here's how it should look on the front and here's how it should look on the back. And the next thing we're going to do is flatten this out and we're going to zigzag all the way around it. That's in the directions. Here's how it looks on the inside. The zigzag all the way around. This is in the instructions. And this is what it looks like on the right side. Zigzag all the way around. Zigzag because it needs to stretch. It's going in your crotch area. So, oh, that's how that part looks. All right, let me show you this. Do you see now how I have it connected? Now it's two legs, do you see? 
All we have is the inseam, and the inseam isn't sewn together yet because we still have to do gusset duty. And we have to sew this gusset to this piece right here. Okay, right sides together. So we're going to put right sides together. I'm sorry I don't have a camera person, but it'll go together because I put all of those slits. See where the slits are? And I'm sorry I don't have a good light. See the slits? And here's the point on the gusset. And the slit part and the gusset part are going to each other. And then you just sew all the way down the leg. And your pants practically done. <laughs> Here we are. Gusset sewn. What it tells you to do is sew over that seam line, the stitching that you did before you did the clips, it tells you to follow that and sew over that as a guide. But I just lined my quarter inch. This is quarter inch seams, y'all, all the way through quarter inch seams. <clears throat> so there's the one side of the gusset. Here's the other side of the gusset, all sewn. Okay, leg one, gusset duty, leg two, and the top of the pant. Be sure you cut, view whatever it is that's going to have the wide waistband. Remember the first one I made? It came clear up to my bra because <laughs> I forgot to cut it down. Because you can make it without that thick waistband. See? So see how short it is because it has a really fat waistband. So, if you turn it inside out, you have a pair of leggings without a waistband. See? There's a gusset in the middle, and there's your two legs. See? Isn't that cool? And then, you can wear it as a scarf if you want to. <laughs> I'll be back when I show you how to do the waistband. It's a little tricky, too. All right, for the waistband, the first thing you do is take both of the waistbands and sew them into a circle. Okay? I just sewed one after the other. That's why they're connected. I'll cut them apart. So, you sew both waistbands into a circle. Then stop the truck. Stop the truck right here. Put this thing, one of them, Open it up into a circle and stick your feet in the hole and pull it up over your butt and up to your waist. If it doesn't come past your knees, start over. <laughs> now that you've done the pull it up to your waist test and gotten it back off, you're going to put one band inside the other band, matching these two seams. There's two seams there somewhere. Where'd the other one go? Matching the two seams and the notches. Right sides together, one inside the other. Match the seams and the notches. Then you're going to sew all the way around the unnotched edge. The notches sew to the pant. So you are going to sew all the way around this, right sides together, on the unnotched edge. I'll be back. So. It takes Sherlock Holmes to find the directions about the elastic. <laughs> I searched and I searched and I searched. They're on page five of the instructions. And up here at the top, it tells you in view A to use a certain size and in view B. So one has the waistband. That's the one we're making. So it's this view. It says for the waistband view to use three eighths inch elastic. You don't have to do that. You can use a half inch. You could use an inch. And when you see how it goes on, you'll understand why. How do you determine how much elastic? If it's in the directions, I don't know where it's at. <laughs> what I do is take the elastic, not just any elastic, but the elastic you're going to use because every elastic is different. Don't just measure your waist and say, oh, I'm going to take that much. I take a piece of elastic and I put it around my waist wherever the pants going to stop and I just make sure it's comfortable and it's going to stay up. Okay? So that's what I've done on this piece. I put a pin at this end and a pin at this end to show how much I need. I make sure it stretches fatter than I am and it does. And so this is how much elastic I'm going to put. And so then you take the band that you've sewn together 
and you divide it into fours. You take this elastic and you sew it together in a circle and you divide it into fours, okay? And I'll show you what to do after that. Here's the deal. This is a really strange way to do the elastic. I've never done one like this before. But I sewed the two circles together all around the unnotched side one quarter inch. Okay? Then you take the elastic and you line it up against that quarter inch seam that you sewed all the way around and you sew the elastic up next to it. See how it sticks up over the top? Here's where I joined it like I showed you yesterday. Let me see. I'm not sure you can see this, you guys. You just sew it. The two pieces are still together, right sides together. They're still together. The two waistbands are. I have sewn around the unnotched edge one quarter inch. Now I have sewn the elastic up to the line of stitching that I sewed when I sewed the two together. Okay? So I hope you can tell. So the elastic's sticking out over the edge. So, what you do next is you turn it around wrong sides together. And this takes a little while. Here it is in the middle. Wrong sides together. The elastic doesn't show anymore and you have your two waistbands. And this is the stretchy part on the top. The bottom part that goes to your pants is still open. I don't know if the directions tell you this, but I sew around this piece with a zigzag stitch before I attach it to the pant. Okay? I also press the elastic and then I sew a line, a zigzag, all the way around it to make it look pretty. So I'll show you that when I get it done. I'll be back. Right, this is in the directions. They have you sew around the elastic. Now my elastic is one inch. Theirs is not. Okay? So you can see I've sewn one inch down all around the elastic. Okay? So that's on the inside now. So now you're going to fold the two together. You're going to fold the two together with the elastic on the inside. And then I'm going to sew all around these two loose pieces down at the bottom to hold it together. Okay. Here's the waistband ready to sew on to the pant. Can you see the notches down there at the bottom? I'm sorry the light's strange, but I think you can see it. Here's the center back. Here's the notch. See the notch? Yeah, there's the notch. And these two edges are sewn together now. And there is a one inch elastic up here at the top. One side, the inside, has the zigzag stitch holding the elastic down. So when you attach this to your pant, you make sure that when you roll, when you sew it on, and then you lift the waistband up, that that elastic is going to be inside touching your belly. Okay? I'm going to sew it on the pant, and then it's going to be done, except for the hems at the bottom of the pant. Let me show you this real quick. The band sews on one-to-one. -one. You don't have to quarter it and match up quarters. It matches. You match the notches. You match the center back seam, and it just sews on evenly, one to one. Ta-da! Pants done. There they are. Tall waistbands on. The zigzags on the inside. There's the seam where I sewed it together. All right. What seam did I use? Quarter inch. And I set my sewing machine at, instead of two and a half length, three, three length, and then I just turned it to a little bit of zigzag. Mine's one, two, three, four, five, and I turned it to the one. But yours might be completely different, but you can see it's just a tiny zigzag. Let me see if I can show you the tininess of the zigzag. Yeah, the inside one here. Not the outside one, the inside one. Can you see the tininess of the zigzag? <laughs> Sorry all the lights are crazy today, but I didn't have uh, the ability to move the uh, lamp all the way around. So, pants are done. i probably wear them tomorrow if I can find something in my closet to match them. So, that's the Jaylee Clara leggings. Is that what they call them? Jaylee Clara. They don't call them anything. They just say Jaylee Clara.
So, make you some. Be sure they stretch far enough. Bye for now. <laughs>